Hello coaches! Oh my gosh, I am so honored and blessed to be able to jump in here and say hi and chat with all of you on something that's really important to me and it's something that really changed the entire course of my business. Um, so this live, we're going to talk about you refocusing and I want you to ask yourself, are you truly, are you truly, truly wanting to level up in your business? Uh, so my name is Ali Tessitore, and again, I am so honored to be able to be leading this incredible training with all of these superstar coaches and teams, and it's just, you guys, you have it made. Like, I can't even begin to tell you, the training that you have right here is just one of a kind. I am learning from every single video. Micah, oh my gosh, her training on volume, I was like mind blown. Um, Ruth and Alyssa, oh my gosh, CEO Mindset. The videos in here, the trainings, are going to take your business to the next level if you are willing to get back into the game. And that's what I wanna talk about. So as we get started here, I'm hoping that some more people jump on. Um, I'm watching to see if more jump on before I get going because I don't want to um, get started until we can fill up this little live. Um, so I'm gonna wait, see if some get on. If you are on, raise your hand, drop an emoji, show some love. Um, if not, you can watch the recording of this, okay? Um, so first things first is it's time to refocus. We are almost at our goal to help you reach two star. We're almost at our goal. And this group has gotten a little quiet. It's gotten a little quiet. The energy has shifted a little bit. And it's kind of like, where is everyone? Is everyone really in this? Are you either working really hard and you just go silent, that's me. I'm a silent worker. I disconnect and I work like crazy. Or are you someone that has, I've given up, I've, I've thrown the towel in, Two star or whatever your goal is, is not going to happen. I don't see it's going to happen for me. It's not possible. Well, I'm here to help you refocus. I am here to help you to figure out what you need to do to level up in your business right now, today at 4 p.m. Eastern time so that you can reach your goal of two star and really beyond. That's what we want is two star and beyond. Um, a little bit about my story because so much of what I'm going to share with you is about my story and I am checking my time because I'm going to try really hard not to go over 15 minutes because I tend to be a talker. I like to talk. Uh, is back in July, it was actually two years ago, July of 2017, I was in a rut. I was in a really bad place with my business. Not so much my business, but my mindset. And I want you to raise your hand if you feel like you're stuck, if you've hit a plateau, if you are like, Allie, I, I'm not seeing growth, I'm not seeing advancement, I'm doing these trainings, I'm listening, I'm doing the work, but I'm not seeing results. I want you to raise your hand. Or maybe your mindset is in the way and you're like, I just can't get past this. Like I can't do those invites, I can't do X, Y, and Z. I want you to raise your hand and I want you to drop what you're struggling with below. I want you to be vulnerable. Because it was two years ago in July, Two years ago in July, which I've been a coach for four years now, it was in July of 2017, I was just a hot ruckus. My team had crumbled. My team had completely crumbled. We were a 10-star lifetime team, but I was a paid one star. I was a paid one star. And I doubted my abilities. I doubted my abilities to end the year elite. I doubted my abilities to ever get back to 10 star. I doubted my abilities to lead an organization, a thriving organization, to lead and be a part of a group like this. I doubted every single ability because of that year. It was a really rough year, seeing coaches come and go and not really seeing the results that I was wanting. Well, it was at Summit. It was at Summit of 2017 that I had this aha moment. It was this aha moment of, I need to draw a line in the sand and figure out, am I in or am I out? And that's where a lot of you are right now, is you've got to figure out, are you in or are you out? Because if you keep one foot in and one foot out, you're never going to reach your greatest potential as a leader. You're not. You're never going to reach your greatest potential. I was just talking to one of my coaches. I was just talking to her. I was talking to two of them. And 
hopefully I'm not gonna mention their names, but they are in here. And they, one of them said, do I have it, Allie? Do I have the potential to be a leader? Do I have the potential to have financial freedom? Do I have the potential to be a five-star team? Do I have X, Y, and Z? Do you know what my answer was to her? Yes, you have it. You just have to work. You have to take action. You have to do the things that we're sharing with you in here. You have to do the basics and the fundamentals and be disciplined in them to get where you want to be. And I told her, it's like, you've got to find your fight. And that's where a lot of you are right now is you're in the middle. You're like, I haven't reached my goal. I don't think I can do this. And you're stuck. You've got to figure out your fight. What are you here for? What are you fighting for? Are you fighting for your family? Are you fighting for your health? Are you fighting to be your own boss? Are you fighting for financial freedom? Are you fighting to empower more women and to help more people? Like, what is your fight? Because you have to figure out what's gonna help you show up in the nitty gritty when things are not always going your way. And that's what I had to do. My team crumbled, and that's just the truth. Complete, honest transparency. My team crumbled. I questioned my abilities and I thought, maybe I'm not cut out for this. Summit, every single top leader, every single top leader at Summit, on the panels, in the sessions, they started to mention some behaviors, some behaviors that they were doing. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're doing all of these things and I'm not doing any of them. I'm like, maybe this is the problem. Maybe this is the problem that I'm not seeing growth in my team because I was not changing. Leadership starts with you. Leader start, start, leadership starts with you, with your belief, with your confidence, with everything that you are. It starts with you. You becoming a two-star team, you becoming a five-star team, you becoming an elite team, all of that starts with you believing that you are capable of doing that and then you taking action to make it happen. So I took my notes at Summit back in July 2017 as a lifetime 10-star, paid one star, paid one star, and I thought, I have to make some changes because I wasn't gonna quit. I knew I had to make a decision. Am I in or am I out? What am I gonna do? I said, I'm in, I'm gonna do these things. So it was in July, I started to implement a couple behaviors. And I'm gonna share those behaviors with you. I started to implement a few behaviors, basic behaviors that I was not doing as a coach. I wasn't even doing them consistently as a lifetime 10 star coach. And I knew I had to make the change. So I committed to those behaviors. I committed to those behaviors from July, 2017, all the way until December of 2018. And I, I am still doing those behaviors now. And it completely changed my entire organization. I went from, we went from a paid one star in July of 2017 to I had my highest recruitment month of January of 2018. And then by April, we were a 15 star qualifying team. So in a matter of six months, in a matter of six months, we went from a one star to a 15 star qual. And then last year at Summit, we were recognized as a superstar team. If I can do it, you can do it. Because it starts here. It starts with your mindset, and it starts with your heart, and it starts with your ability to be disciplined in taking action. And there is a quote that I live by, it's actually on my bracelet right here. And my word for the year, actually my word for my life, is discipline equals freedom. And I heard that quote in the 80 Day Obsession Test Group uh, by Danielle Natoni, and that quote stuck with me. Discipline equals freedom. And if you can find discipline in your life, from working out, to eating clean, to doing your invites, doing the business activity tracker, to offering coach info sessions, to doing your follow-ups, to showing up on these trainings, you're going to see fruit. You're going to see fruit from your actions because you are planting those seeds and then you are watching them grow. But you have to be willing to be disciplined and take consistent action in doing those things. So what are those things that I started to do in that January or in that July for over the course of six months? And this is something I tell all of my team to do. It's something that I do and it's not crazy because if you don't know this is about me, I'm a mom of three. I'm a mom of three and my husband travels a lot for work so I don't have a lot of time. I don't have time to do 100 invites a day. I don't have time to do 60 invites a day. I'm gonna tell you what I can do as a mom of three who hustles with my kids around from activity to activity and I'm a single mama most of the time. Number one, 
the first thing that I began to implement in my life to take our team, my life, my business to the next level is I actually began to write down my affirmations for my life and my goals. Do you, do you, Tani and Simone on here, do you, I see you guys commenting below, do you know what you want for your life? And I have heard this ring true for every single leader that has gone live. I know Alyssa, I was listening to her video last week. She talked about that. Do you have a vision for your life? Do you have a goal? What are your affirmations for your life? I want you to drop one of them below. I had 14 affirmations for 2018, 14 affirmations. Every single morning I woke up and I said them out loud. Kind of crazy, right? Yeah. I would wake up, I would say them out loud, and then I would say some verses over them and I would just speak them out, that they were gonna happen. They weren't happening, but I was speaking them out. That I would win my mornings. I would win my mornings every single day at 5 a.m. That I would honor, you know, honor God and my family first and foremost in this business that I would um, that I would be disciplined in my nutrition as someone who struggles with emotional eating, that I would commit to a fitness program 100%, that I would become a debt-free family, uh, I'm trying to think about that I would work out on stage with Autumn, become a superstar team, have 10 coaches at NLC this past year. Well, can I tell you this, out of my 14, seven of them came to fruition in 2018. Seven out of 14, which is, amazing. You know why? Because I started to speak them. I started to believe them. And guess what? My actions began to align with them. Do you know what you want for your life? Do you know what you want for this business? Because it's those affirmations and those goals that are going to motivate you to show up every single day. Number two is I changed my inviting process. Now be ready. Your mind is going to be blown right here. <laughs> I actually started inviting to the coach opportunity. Again, I was talking to a coach today um, for a little one-on-one -on -one, and she was talking about having financial freedom. And I said, you're not gonna have financial freedom unless you start inviting to the coach opportunity because you have to build a team of, of coaches who are wanting to help people. You have to, you have to invite to the coach opportunity. And I did not invite to the coach opportunity. A lot of my coaches were challengers who became coaches or it was people that reached out to me just organically from sharing through posts or offering sneak peeks. But I started inviting and this is like the mind blowing invite. You guys, I didn't invite 20 people a day to the coach opportunity. I didn't invite 10. I didn't invite five. I invited three people a day. Three people a day to the coach opportunity from July until December. Rain or shine, it happened. Hurricane Irma hit our house. We were out of a house for seven days with no electricity. It was a ruckus. I still invited my three people every single day because just like the compound effect, it's the small daily habits that lead to the big picture. I don't want you to burn out. I don't have time to burn out, okay? So I can't do a gazillion invites, but I know that I can wake up first thing in the morning and invite three people to the coach, coach opportunity. I do do more invites for challenge group, but I'm specifically talking about coaching invites because all of you are wanting to become star diamonds, two star, three star, four star, five star, and above, okay? Um, so you need to be talking to people about this opportunity. Three people. How about you just commit to three people every single day? Because I will say this, I have coaches who aren't even inviting three people a day. I might tell them that till I'm blue in the face, but you have to figure out a way to gain that confidence, to gain the belief that this opportunity can change people's lives. You're here and there's other people out there like you that need this. So I started inviting three people a day. I went from zero to three for the coach opportunity. And listen, in a matter of six months, in a matter of six months, inviting three people a day, planting seeds, watering them, them watching me on Instagram stories, us having conversation, fortune the follow-up. In January, like I said, had the biggest month ever I've ever had in my business, and it was all of those people, all those people I was talking to for six months, all those people I was inviting, and a massive percentage of those coaches that I had invited were the ones that were a part of our superstar, okay? Um, the third thing that I began to change to help our team level up, to take it to the next level, to refocus, on my business was I changed my onboarding process. This is so simple.
but maybe you're, you're onboarding your coaches not the right way. I was not onboarding them the correct way. Do you know why? Because I was afraid to talk about the business, I was afraid to talk about income, and I did not want to lose people. I was afraid that I was gonna lose people, especially after I had lost so many coaches in the beginning when we had dropped from, from 10 to one star. I was like, I'm doing something wrong. So I was afraid to ruffle anyone's feathers. I was walking on eggshells. So when I got on a new coach call, I did not mention the word success club. I did not talk about becoming an emerald. I did not mention any of that. It was just like a girl powwow on a, on a call. That was it, nothing else. Well, I thought, you know what? If I want to take our team to the next level, if we want to end the year elite, if we want to be an elite team again, if we want to be a solid star diamond team and I want leaders on my team, I need to do something different because these calls are not working how I'm onboarding coaches. So I changed it to four things, really simple, four things on my onboarding process is I actually use the Beachbody 30 day action plan. I know some of you are like anti using Beachbody stuff, but listen, it works. The 30 day action plan by Beachbody, it's beautiful because it tells you to highlight on the things that are important. How many people are you going to help? How much commission do you want to earn? What is your why? They need to have a deeply rooted why for doing this. It's going to help them motivate them to show up. The action steps posted on social media. Are they doing their program? Are they sharing on social media? It is literally a blueprint for success for your new coaches. So I started to implement that. I talked about earning success club right away, how we want to help three people in our first month, how we want to become Emerald coaches like in a week if possible. And then how diamond is the next step within 60 to 90 days of becoming a new coach. I started to implement that. And surprisingly, I had coaches starting to earn success club, new coaches, and I started to have success starters, and then I would have emerald coaches, and then I would have diamonds, and I was like, what's happening? I changed the way I was leading. Remember, leadership, it truly does start with you. It starts with what you're doing. And then the last thing that I began to implement, this was everything. This was everything. Um, yes, I was inviting, yes, I was onboarding coaches, but if you want to have a team of leaders, if you wanna have those two coaches that help you become a two star, if you wanna have those three coaches that help you three star, if you wanna have those five coaches that help you end the year elite, yes, then you have to be willing to share your vision. You have to be willing to share your vision with your team and not be afraid of it. Because I was afraid of it. I was so afraid, you know why? Because I was fear, I had fear I was gonna lose people. I was afraid that, that my coaches were not gonna believe in me, that they weren't gonna believe in our mission, they weren't gonna believe in our vision for our team. And I was like, if I speak this out loud, what if they don't wanna do it? What if they don't support me? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be me, myself, and I. You've got to let your faith be bigger than your fear and say, no, I want this for our team. I want this for my life. And those who wanna be a part of it will jump on the train. So I started to cast the vision. And I started to cast the vision with my team. It was in January of 2018. I was planting more seeds from July until December, but I started to plant those seeds. It was in January when I had all those new coaches. And I was like, oh my gosh, all these people. I started to cast the vision. And now some of you are saying, Ellie, I don't have a big team. I don't have a lot of new coaches. That's okay. That is okay. I can name at least five coaches, top coaches who said that they've gone live. They've done coach info sessions. They've had team calls with no one on it show up. That's what's important. I began to share my vision with my team and my person sponsored coach page every single week, every single week I would go live and I'd say, we're going to be an elite team. We're going to be a superstar team. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. This is what I want for my life. And I shared my hopes and dreams that I had for my life and my family's life so that they could see the possibility for them. And it was pretty amazing because when I was able to cross off one of my affirmations that I had for my life and for our team, I could go live and I could share it with my team. And they were like, Ali, if you can do this, I can do this. But what happens is when you start to share your vision with your team, all of it, your personal, your professional, your vision that you have, it starts to ignite an energy. It starts to ignite a fire in your coaches. I'm telling you, it's magical. And you know what? All you need is one. All you need is one coach that catches that vision with you. One coach to say yes, to helping you become a two star or a premier or an elite coach. All it takes is one, one. 
every Friday I would go live. And then every Saturday, I would then shout out those coaches who committed to partnering with me to help this vision come to fruition. And I still do it. I still do it because people want to be a part of something. They want to be a part of something that's bigger than they could imagine. They want to be a part of a dream, of a vision, something that gives them hope, something that gives them that joy in the morning to wake up and work hard. But it starts with you. It starts with your ability to show up every day and to speak your affirmations. It starts with your ability to do the work and invite people. Oh gosh, it was so amazing when I have a core of solid leaders. When we had that new blood, that new energy, all those coaches I was inviting, they joined. It was like, just, it was energized to our team. All of these new coaches coming in. It starts with your ability to onboard your new coaches. Now I'm gonna say not every single new coach is gonna do what you tell them to do. Not every new coach is gonna hit Success Club, not every new coach is gonna become Emerald, but it's your responsibility to onboard them the right way. And then for you ultimately to share your vision. Your coaches look to you. Your coaches look to you for direction. They look to you for leadership. They look to you for what's next and what should I be doing. So I know from my experience that every single one of you are 100% capable of reaching your goal of two star. I'm 100% possible that every single one of you can level up your business and end the year elite if you want, or five star, or whatever your goals are, become financial free, whatever your goals are, I know they can happen. If you're willing to take time to self reflect and look at yourself and say, what am I doing? What do I need to change? Because it took me to be completely broken. It took me for my team to completely crumble for me to stop and say, I'm broken. Now, what do I need to rebuild? And I rebuilt, I rebuilt, I rebuilt it upon solid rock and I rebuilt on my behaviors and my behaviors are duplicatable with my team now. And that's exactly what's going to happen with you. One thing in closing is I'm not sure if you listened to the national wake up call on Monday, but it was so good um, by Shannon. I think it was Shannon Harvey. And she said something. She's been a coach for 11 months. Um, and Sadie said something along the lines of like, what were you doing? What were you doing to help all of those people and earn success club to win team cup? And she said, I was doing the vital behaviors. I was disciplined and I was consistent. Discipline and consistent with doing the work. You can make every one of your hopes and dreams come to life. You can become a two star. You can do all of those things that you want to happen, but you have to be willing to show up and do the work, to refocus, to self-reflect, and then implement. And know that discipline can and will equal freedom in your life personally and professionally. So refocus, ask yourself, are you really willing to level up? And if you are, then figure out those things that you need to do, make the change today, and go for it. Um, again, thank you so much for listening. So honored to be here. Um, and don't forget to show up on the accountability call this Saturday. Bye.